I want to give my Ender 3 a new brain. Do you want to follow me? So I will start off with an apology. Summer has finally come to Italy and I don't have air conditioning in my studio so you can see some sweat on my brow, so uh, apologies for that. So today I want to talk with, to you uh, about a new project I'm, I'm starting or actually I'm already halfway through and it is about changing the control board in an under 3. You probably know that I have uh, made a mistake in the past, so I uh, burned uh, the, the main board and I managed to repair it, but uh, while I was uh, still understanding if it was possible to repair, I was uh, researching some uh, alternative boards and I have decided to go for a 32-bit uh, board because I think that's the future. So I was looking into a few alternatives and I ended up with this. So this is called Large X. It comes from a Chinese company and it sports an ARM 32-bit uh, processor, which is exactly what I was looking for. It has swappable drives. Uh, this version here, which is the X, uh, doesn't have a double extruder, but they also have uh, another version with the double extruder, but that's fine for me. And uh, there is a separate option to drive a heat bed and it comes with a 3.5 inch full color touch LCD. Uh, which is a very nice screen and in the end if you balance it to all the options you have it's super cheap. I bought this off AliExpress and since I had to buy it I also had to buy the swappable drives so I said okay if I'm going to go for it I'm going for it go for it uh, seriously so uh, I bought uh, uh, Trinamic 2208 and the package with the board and the Trinamics come for 65 euros around that and the extension of the EatPad and the USB adapter to connect it to the computer is 10 extra euros. So it's 75 euros, you have a workable solution. Um, and I think that's pretty good. I mean, if you compare it to the other more, uh, let's say, um, known options, like, uh, for example, the DUA, uh, that's going to be much more expensive than that. You will wonder why this has not been adopted far and wide uh, because of this. And uh, there is a reason. The, the, the biggest downside, or I mean, it could, it could be considered a downside uh, by, by some people in the makers community, maybe it's considered an upside from that company, is that it runs a proprietary firmware. Uh, when you look at it, and you will see it in a minute, it looks pretty much like it's being derived from Marlin or something that similar, but uh, in the end, uh, this cannot be worked on. So it is a compiled firmware, it's proprietary from Large, so you will have to rely from them or you have to rely on them to supply the needed uh, updates and eventually uh, if there's any uh, safety thing to fix, uh, there's no way for us to do it ourselves. But uh, I think it's, uh, it was worth uh, doing a, a try. So um, I'm working currently on a series of videos and uh, this is just going to be a teaser for, for the series and I'm going to walk through all the process of uh, designing the housing and uh, uh, all the need, needed bits and pieces to fit the electronics to the end 3 and then I will go through a full tutorial on how to uh, install it and uh, eventually how to run it. And I hope I will succeed because uh, as of today, uh, this is sitting in my hands, so uh, as I'm shooting here, I, uh, I'm just printing uh, most of the parts, but it's still uh, uh, not uh, completely through. Uh, yeah, my final comment before I jump into the live uh, action uh, with the board itself is uh, uh, this shirt. Uh, I mean, I'm, usually I will not be uh, doing any advertising, and this is not really advertising, but uh, I want to uh, discuss about a uh, cause. This shirt comes from an organization which is called Sea Shepherd and uh, they have a couple of websites, they have an international one and they have uh, local shops. Uh, I bought this from Europe. Uh, if you want to support uh, Sea Shepherd, basically they're policing the seas to make sure that all the marine life living out there is uh, well treated. And so give this a look. The link is going to be in the description. And, uh, you know, if you want to buy a very cool shirt and uh, at the same time uh, do something that's good, uh, good for a good cause, then uh, give this a look. And now we're going to jump into the board itself. So this is the kit I bought off of AliExpress. Uh, on the left hand side, you can see the board. It's a large X. There is two versions. This is the small one uh, that drives only one extruder, which is uh, fine for me. And then 
it came bundled you can choose the stepper motors uh, driver you want uh, they're not assembled on the board yet uh, I still have to set the VRF so they're sitting on the bench and then on the right hand side you see the the LCD full color uh, touch screen 3.5 uh, inches and on the far left you see this extra board here which is uh, uh, the driver for the heat bed it is a separate board you can get it uh, uh, in the other version it's uh, embedded in the board and then this is uh, the connector that you have to use to connect it to the board and uh, to the thermistor and this is how it looks like when it's powered up you see this is the boot screen and then it jumps straight into the touch screen you see it has a few functions here so you can heat up uh, the bed or the hot end directly there's a configuration screen uh, you can save the firmware either on the usb uh, or on an sd card and then uh, there is a setup uh, functionality here so if you go to the setup you have all the usual sets so you can uh, control the motors with uh, different uh, settings uh, then you can power them up and down you can lock or unlock the stepper motors you can fire up the fan there is also a con the way to control some uh, leds uh, this is for the auto leveling so this is already built in and then you have of course hot end filament load and load you also have some setups you can choose between the structure of your machine you can choose between all the parameters of the motors you can set all the parameters of the heat and then you have some settings um, that you can use for example you can also do this UI reversal so this flips the screen upside down so it gives you extra freedom to assemble it on the machine the way you like you can also go into Chinese if you want uh, I'm going to stay away from that English will do and finally you can change the colors there's a few colors I'm going to stick with the green which is the default one uh, I kind of like it then I will see when all my new design is uh, set up it supports from the factory uh, an inductive switch probe so you can hook it up straight onto the board and uh, there's a lot of functionalities of expansion this one here is a separate uh, board that you can buy that uh, allows you to connect it through the USB and there's also this socket here that you can use uh, to connect it to another optional uh, Wi-Fi so it's uh, very configurable very flexible and uh, with a lot of options and it's super cheap but I would say from what I see in the beginning it looks pretty well done so I will give it a go and I will let you know how this ends up and that said uh, I hope you enjoyed the video I hope you're supporting my project and I will stay tuned to see how it evolves and uh, maybe you'll have some interest in this uh, large uh, board as well and uh, Together we will learn something how to make it work. And um, that's all for me. So if you like uh, what you see, the content in the channel, you please subscribe. I will also leave my uh, Twitter uh, account, so you can also follow that. And uh, that's it. And uh, until next time.